I'm on a laptop connected by Wi-Fi, so I understand, correct me if I'm wrong, that I would be distraction in Hangouts as my output would lag behind. Now, what you're asking, Joe, from what I understand, is if you join a Hangout with a computer with inferior internet connection and inferior hardware, in other words, you're at the base minimum for system requirements for a Hangout on air, you have a 2 gigahertz dual-core processor and a slow internet connection. You're like, great, so I'm going to drag everybody down with me, and I'm going to ruin the Hangout experience. That is not the case. That is not how it works. What they're talking about here is a distribution of bandwidth, and what Google does is they actually will downgrade the quality of just your output and your input. And if anybody drops out of the Hangout, or if there's any other issues that occur during the Hangout, it's going to happen only on your end. I have been in a number of Hangouts on air with other people where I have my full HD and all that stuff right here on my screen, full HD resolution, everything's going fine, and theirs is struggling because they didn't have the internet connection, so my picture comes in crystal clear, and theirs comes in at like 240p, and then occasionally their audio skips or it lags behind or they just drop out, and then they have to rejoin. Or sometimes, if it gets bad enough, it'll drop out the video completely and it'll only play the audio. You'll see a little bubble with their logo on it, and it'll just play the audio. In fact, if you're in a low bandwidth area and you're having that problem, you can actually disable the video during your Hangout, and it'll go straight to audio, and that will actually help with the bandwidth issue because you're no longer broadcasting the video as well as the audio. So that's one of the major advantages of doing uh, the Hangouts that way uh, instead of doing video. So like a lot of people like are like, oh, no, Hangouts, i got to do video. That's not true. In fact, you could actually do an audio podcast. I can make Ask the Tech Teacher an audio show without the visual, technically. Uh, and you can do a straight pro podcast, right, from Hangouts on Air. And I know a lot of people do it. You don't have to do the video. But no, you're not going to drag everybody else down, Paul, you know. Um, you will not do that. It'll just drag down your end, and you'll drop out. Now, whether you're a distraction or not, you might be, because you'll be all blocky, and your audio might be a little scratchy, uh, and you might drop out randomly. Uh, but you know, in a regular one-on-one -on -one hangout, not on air, it wouldn't be a big deal. wouldn't matter. Good question, Paulino. Thank you. Joe Ray. Nope, we already did that one. That was Joe Ray. I apologize. Joe Ray. Not Paulino. Apologize. Uh, 